and gentlemen, you are welcome to this memorable occasion. An occasion so sweet that uh, I'm already in love with my in-laws. You can see the way I'm dressed now, different from my family members. I'm already dressed in the Yoruba fashion. That shows I'm already a part of the Yoruba already. <laughs> Uh, you are very much welcome once more, and I hope uh, we will live to remember today because we know that whatever you came for will be a success. We hope you won't ill treat our daughter when she comes home and hope that everything will always be according to plan. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. is waiting for you. Guy, I can't do it. I can't go through with this. No way. Look, I understand. But every bride goes through this on her wedding day. It's normal. You will have to pull yourself together and then we'll go out there. I thought I could do it for the sake of my mother, but right now, hey, I don't think I can spend the rest of my life with that man. Sylvia, what is this? Are you trying to cause a scandal? I don't care. Did you see that man's stomach? Samuel, it's disgusting. There's no way I'm spending the rest of my life with that man. Over my dead body. Wild horses will not drag me out of this room. Didn't you see the stomach before you agreed to marry him? 
How many times I have to tell you I had no choice in the matter? My dad is marrying me to that man by force just because he wants him to clear his debt. That, my dad owes him like one millionaire or something. And now I'm the scapegoat. What am I now? I'm the only 19. Do I have a choice? And so what choice do you have now but to go out there? Do you know how much this wedding is costing your family and that of Chief Balogu? Well, I have one choice right now. And you're going to help me. How? Well, you just go out there as the last bride while I escape. Okay? okay. What do you mean escape? Exactly what the word means. Escape, like, you know, abscond, vamos, run away from here. You're spending the rest of my life in the harem of Chibaluka, or whatever they call him. No way. I'm doing it right now. Sylvia, right. wait! Sylvia! She just ran out of the house. She said she can't marry Chibalogo. I am not going to marry Mr. Chibalogo. You can say, see what happens. Now I said it that one day this girl is going to kill me. My enemy is going to for lamentation. Quickly, let's try to find her. Oh, come on. Please, let's go. Oh, this girl. How, how are we going to delay the ceremony? Already they are suspecting that. This is no time for questioning. Let's go and look for her. Oh. They better we delay them. Oh, Miss Oh, please try. Oh. is keeping her out. Mm. Oh, 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 only to find out from Ekaite that she ran out and she said she was never... My aunt, what nonsense are you bringing out from your mouth? Do you understand what you're saying? Do you understand? How can you stand here and tell me that rubbish? If you really love yourself, you better go and produce Sylvia now! Or there'll be help to pay for it. Do you understand me? Come out and where is my where's my bride, Basi? You will pay for this, Basi. Do you realize how much this ceremony has cost me? Not the talk of the embarrassment you have cost me. Oh, oh. Basi, coming all the way from Augusta to be so humiliated. Look, let me warn you. You will not get away with this disgrace. I tell you, if you think you will get away from paying my money, you are joking. I will show you that <laughs> only a foolish mouse dies in the arena of cats. The only of the entire Yorubaris. 
I will use both my federal might and international control to deal with you. Hey, hey Balugo, calm down. Honestly, Balugo, I never planned this. I don't have hand in what is happening. Just believe me, before God and man, I don't have a hand in what is happening. You see, I don't know the devil that has taken possession of Sylvia and her mother. You see, they, they just want to bring this place to my family. But then all hope is not lost. You see, something can be done. We can put heads together. No, and... no, 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 no. You cannot put heads together with a madman. That's what you are. Why, why, why? I cannot put them together with a mother who has connected with his family to cheat Balug, me. Balug, it's not like that. No, I will show you that mm -hmm. your land. We don't take this kind of insult oh, lightly. Oh, Balug, 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 don't, 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 Balugu, don't, 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 Sivia, oh, look, look, look. Hey, hey, my brothers, please. I don't have hand in, in this, this arrangement going on. Before God, I don't have hand in it. You see, I have not touched the right price yet. If he desires, I can return them. You see, I don't, I don't know that I have a witch for a daughter. Who only wants to bring the disgrace to my family? See what Sivia and the mother has done to me. I don't know that it's I have okay, a wish okay. as a daughter. It's okay. It's no, okay. I cannot no, stay no, no, here. No, no, no. Chief, uh, chief, uh, chief, uh, chief, chief, chief. I don't know. I can't chief, stay here. All right. no, I cannot stay here see, and no, listen no, to no, the ranting no, of a no, madman. No, but look, wait. <laughs> if you want the bright price, I can return it. I have not thought any <laughs> bit of it. See, I don't know that I have. No, you, they, they just want to bring this grace to me and my family. Just look at me. Look, look at me. How could I have planned this with Sylvia? What you take me for? Exactly what you are, woman. Exactly what you are. A lying, screaming witch, just like your daughter. Eh? Disgracing me before the whole town and before my business partners. I mean, mm -mm. I will never forgive you. I will never forgive you and your daughter. Just tell me, I will never forgive you. Anyway, you have not had the last of this. Now look at you. Look, 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 look at that. How can I complete this building? How can I complete it? I thought by the time Balogu marries Sylvia, you'll be able to write off uh, uh, my debts with him. Then give me another money to complete this place. Now look at this place. How can I complete it? You are standing here asking me, how could I have planned it? Why are you putting all this fault on me? Are you not the one that gave her away for marriage? And she was begging you that she wanted to go to university. But at the end, she, you said she must go and marry that old man just because you are owing him. Do you think she's a commodity, Dad? Will you shut up? Shut your dirty mouth up, woman. Ah! Oh, what do you know about my business with Balugu? Eh? That is why you plotted with your daughter to disgrace me before the whole town and before my business partners. Eh? I see. Hey, I have told her I did not plan anything with Sylvia. You should more. You should show more concern about the whereabouts of your daughter. Instead, you sit down here, nothing, your wounded pride. You are very stupid for saying that, woman. You are very stupid. And let me tell you, your bad daughter can go and drown for all I care. Do you understand me? And what's more, I don't want to set my eyes on that girl, on that, on that girl, in that compound again. Do you understand? That is, that, that, that is all I get for taking care of another person's child. Ingress, all of you. That is what you are. <laughs> oh. It is not that you know she's not your child. But when you were giving her out into that slavery called marriage, she was your beloved daughter and the most beautiful child in the family. Will you keep quiet, woman? Shut your dirty mouth up. And if you don't know how you flaunt this your dirty mouth, you will not only be banished from this compound, but from the whole community. Do you understand me? You need your... Oh, get away with my dress. No. I'm okay, no? I'm okay, no? I owe this special visit. What is my daughter? How am I supposed to know where your daughter is? Look, if you have come here to spoil for a fight, I am not in the mood. Afi, so you want to tell me that you don't know what is going on? My daughter ran away on her wedding day and something tells me that she's with you. Oh, so you think I'm hiding her in my pot of potion? 
And here I am, thinking that my sister had come to her senses and had come to visit me. Oh, I forgot. I am the town witch. Nobody is supposed to come near me. So why would your daughter be near me? Sylvia is a very stubborn girl. And she insists on visiting you. Even when everyone knows you are a dangerous woman. Dangerous? Yes! Because I talk to the plants and heal people with herbs? Or is it because I have refused to conform to what you want me to be? Okay. If I see Sylvia, I will give her a big hug for what do, she Do you know, know the trouble she has caused us? Trouble? For you? Who? You or your husband? Is it because he has lost the opportunity of selling her off to pay? Afi, Sylvia is my daughter and not yours. Sylvia is our daughter. She is our daughter. Because you have denied me the opportunity of spending as much time with her as you do, doesn't make her your daughter. Look at you. You married that monkey. Hmm. You could not stand up to Papa and tell him that you didn't want to marry him. The way Sylvia is doing. For your information, let me tell you. You see that monkey? You took care of me when I was pregnant. You took care of Sylvia. Kept food on the table. Did everything for, did everything for us in this house. Yeah. It's high time I visited my father, don't you? What have you been telling my daughter? Nothing that is not the truth. I just think it's about time she knew the truth about her real father. Afia Kenginua, who makes you the spokesman in this matter? Sami Sami Sami, I've had enough Mama, of this. Please. Please. Who are you? Who are Mama, you? Mama, please, this is no time for quarreling. It's not the issue at all. I need to hear it from you. Is it true? You are making a very big mistake. You can't just wake up one morning and say you want to go to Lagos. I don't even know whether your father is still alive or not. So? Mama, my mind is made up. I'm sorry for all the pains I've caused you, but this is something I must do. Oh! Sylvia, you and me. Oh! Mm. Well, so that's the girl. I happen to know your Silas. I'll deliver it to him safe and sound. Thank you, sir. Okay. He, he stays at uh, Lady 26 July. Uh, I'll do anything for a beautiful girl like you. Yeah. What did you say your name was? Sylvia. Beautiful name. It's a guest house. Actually, I was wondering if we could, um, you know, stop and have a drink, have a nice time. I'll take you to Silas's house later. You know. Now, uh, I expect you to be a good girl and. Um, Excuse me. You know what I'm talking about. I'll take you to Silas's house later. Really. So let us stop and uh, have a nice time, all right? Excuse me. What's that? It's just. Go inside. Have one or two drinks. Take me to Silas' house. If you're not taking me, you don't I'll take you to Silas' house. Oh, what are you? Leave me alone. What? You slap me? Get out of my car. Get out! Get out of my car, you whore! What were you looking for on the street if not for some guy who will give you a good time? Get out! Get out! Get out! I was get out! Get out! Tell me a cock and bull story about looking for Mr. Silas. Who's, who's Mr. Silas? Who knows? Shut my door, get out of the car!
Now wait. Um, please, is this Broadway aluminium? Broadway. Broadway. If they send you for come from the go tell them say you don't see me. All these are say as you guess where they where they work out the street, the five person will go carry them. No, no, see. Uh, uh, Unati say unagas sense. No. Unati say unagas sense. Make I tell you, you no get common sense. No, I'll be proper Lagos boy. Um, Come. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait, wait, see him. Um, I'm want looking to? for Mr. Silas. Mm -hmm. And they said that this Broadway, this is Silas, go. Skilashi. Maybe you know Skilashi where they play ball. At, at it. You know, go, you, you know, go yes. come out here before I blow scatter your, your face, your face with, with my kubuku. I'm looking for so. What is not style of so You see there yet? You never go. I'm going to tell they follow this girl, they talk. You know. Now all these are shallow guests where they work out the street. No, Come, no, no. Make I tell you, if you define customer, at that junction you go get out. Wait, 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 wait. Go inside. Forget about it. Go inside. Let me see. Let me see. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for Mr. Silas. That's all I want. So this, this address, they said it was broad aluminum. Now, I don't know. I'm, Silas will be here. I know him. I know him. You, you know him? Yeah. He's living on just other than the next street. That's you're, where. You're sure it is? Yeah, when he gets to the next street, you will see one big gate like that. That's where he lives. He lives. Everybody knows him. Come, come, come. I do for you. But I make no verse, ma. I said it's not be for this time. Now this case he gave very important message for her. He just the lamp from Calabanana. What is this important message that could not wait till tomorrow? Good evening, ma. I'm really sorry to disturb you, but I have a message for Mr. Silas Obi. Yeah, what? And I need to deliver it to him personally. And who the hell are you? Um, my name is Sylvia. Um, What's happening here? I don't know who this is, but she says she has a message for you. Who are you and what can I do for you? Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, my name is Sylvia. I'm coming all the way from Calabar. I have a message from my mother, Mrs. Uh, Maya Ekeng, for Mr. Silas Obi. And what do you, why do you think a message from your mother would interest me? It, it should interest you, sir, because... Um, you're my father. I can't believe this. My aunt? Why didn't she tell me that she was pregnant? Well, she, she said you left her with no choice when you disappeared without a choice. And my grandparents forced her into an early marriage to cover up the shame. I don't believe this. When I went back to look for her, her father nearly poured hot oil on me and told me to get out of his compound. 
and that Mayan didn't need a poor man like me and that she's gotten married the previous day to a man who has settled her and would provide for her things I couldn't provide for her at that time. You can imagine how hurt I was. And I didn't know where to look for her, knowing how antagonistic her parents were to me. So I had to pack my bag and baggage down to Lagos. And forgetting her was so difficult. But I had to put the whole incidents behind me. Life goes on. You don't believe me? Of course I believe you. Maya would never lie about a thing like this. She had too much integrity. So I have no reason to doubt her. Oh, Maya. Denying me the joy of seeing my daughter for 19 whole years. Here was I, thinking that I was going to die without an heir. Then all of a sudden you appear. Come, my dear, come back to touch you. Come on. <coughs> I'm sorry to interrupt such an emotional reunion. Silas, it's way past your bedtime. And you know you have an appointment with the doctor first thing tomorrow morning. I know, honey. But I cannot stand this excitement. It is not easy waking up to see that you have a grown-up daughter, is it? It's not everything that you should believe. Sylvia, we had to start without you. That's okay, I think I had to clean the kitchen first. Now sit down, join us. Join us? 
You want us to sit on the same table with a house help and eat? Cut me that out, Obina. Sylvia is your sister, not some house help. And you must treat her with respect. Now, Sylvia, sit down and eat. Mom, I must sit on the same table with a help and eat. Okay? Look here, Obina! Stop it, Dad. Don't listen. Dad, it's okay. It's all right. I'm not hungry anyways. I think I'll just do a bit of reading. And take care of Margaret, warn your son. He's your son. And I've accepted him as my aunt. Have you? Of course I have. I married you when he was six years old. And I've taken care of him all these years. I provided for him whatever he needed. I practically spoiled that brat. What does he mean? Silas, you created this problem. So you deal with it. Please, can I eat my food? I thought I told you to wash the shirts for me. And what the hell happened? Nobody turns their back on me. Special not some bloody house girl. Yeah. Take these shirts and wash them well. I know exactly what you're up to. But I can assure you it will not work. Any attempt to frustrate me out of my own father's house will be highly resisted. I have as much right as you do in this house. That is, if not more. So be warned, I will not let anybody cheat me out of it. Is he your mate? Look, you better be very careful. You understand? I'm only tolerating you in this house because of Chief Silas. But if you think that you can come here and offend my son and, and destroy what has taken me so many years to build, <laughs> then you are in for a shock. And you better watch your back because I'll be right there. And I will stab you so hard you won't believe what happened to you. They are only reacting to the change in circumstances. You see, many people react to change. My wife will come round. It may take a while. But eventually, she will come to accept you. She's not a bad woman, I assure you. Now come. Come and tell me what you learnt in the, the gym classes today. Stop being sad. Come on, don't be such a baby. Come to daddy. Come to daddy. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 ye
You're not screaming. 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 You're not screaming.
some help. Look, I question the wisdom of what I'm doing right now, but somehow it feels right, okay? I, I would have just gone back because I don't know you, who you are, or what you are, but I don't think I should leave you right here all alone at this time of the night. Okay, so if you just let me, I'm willing to give you a ride home. God, you have a voice at least. Okay. <clears throat> so what's the problem? Hmm? Look, I understand that you might not want to talk about it, okay, but I mean we can at least leave this place. It's dangerous for a young girl to be out here all alone at this time of the night. Let's go. Come on, I'll give you a ride. I don't know what happened to my car, but I just chose this spot to just pack up on me. So where do I take you to? Look, I'm not in the habit of picking up strangers, okay? But somehow my heart goes out to you. Okay. I understand you might not want to talk about whatever it is that happened to you. But you can at least tell me where you live so I can drop you off at home. Okay, it's getting late. I don't know. I'm 
drop me anywhere you like. You can drop me at the bridge, drop me at the graveyard, drop me anywhere. Okay. I think the accountant should be given a query. Because I can't fathom why you should let such a thing happen to my organic holdings. None of our accounts has been overdrawn for more than two weeks. But when the statement of accounts came, it showed that we had a debit balance of over three million naira. For God's sake, why should they? Michael, you're not listening to me. What's your problem? Um, I'm sorry, nothing, Mom. I, <clears throat> I have a lot on my mind. Well, you should let company matters take top priority on your mind. For God's sake, you are the managing director of this company. And I don't know why you should let us overdraw more than... I mean, Mom, why Mom, should I you? I told you that there must be a mistake somewhere. Mom, I have run this company since I left the university. And I've done it efficiently. You said so yourself, Mom. Yes, well, I, I Mom, don't... Mom, the accountant and I will sort this out. I'm sure it's just a minor problem. If you say so. By the way, why are you still dressed like this? Aren't you going to be in the management meeting this morning? Mom, the meeting is for 12. This is 8 a.m. Besides, I have some amendment to do on my report, so I might as well do it at home. Okay. But please, try not to be late. Who can afford to be late with you as chairman? We don't want to get the third degree now, do we? <laughs> Naughty boy. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, we'll see mm. you then. See you. Mm. Bye bye. Right, <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, sir. I thought you had finished. Oh, um, it's okay, Jonathan. Um, I'm doing some work upstairs in my room, so I'll take my breakfast upstairs. Okay, sir. Okay. So you can clear the table and then let me have that. Okay, thanks. Okay, bring some coffee things for me upstairs. Okay, I was wondering if you were ready to tell me what happened to you. It's okay. It doesn't matter if you tell me or not. I promise to help you. I still will help you. Okay? I'm going to talk to a friend of mine who's away with his family. Uh, he's going to be away for a while, so... I'll ask him to let you use his place. Do well. Michael! Michael, it's me! I want to collect the letter I gave you yesterday to sign. My mom. That's my mom.
I want to collect the letter I gave you yesterday to sign. I need it for the meeting. Um, uh, okay, mom. I'll, I'll bring you along with me when I'm coming. What took you so long? I was just fixing something. So. Fixing what? Go and bring it. Go and bring it. No, I'll bring you along when I'm coming. I'll bring it to the meeting. Okay. Why? Why are you? Mom. Wait. Mom, there's no one no there, mom. No. I thought Anne was there. Oh, shit. See you at the meeting. Bye, dear. Can't you just learn to accept kindness? No, I'm Please. Um, I'm sorry. Um, thank you very much for for everything. You and your friend must really be close, I mean, for him to let you use this place in his absence. That's what friends are for. I know, I'm sorry, I have to go now. I'm almost um, late for my meeting. There's so, money, in case you need to buy anything in the neighborhood. Alright? I have to go. Tomorrow we'll go out and buy you some necessities, okay? Enjoy yourself. You might have to have to go now. Have yeah. fun. Thank you so much. 
so much for everything. The pleasure is all mine, Sylvia. Look, I promise to help you. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Believe me, no strings attached. I believe you. I just hope someday I'll be able to pay you back for everything. Nobody is talking about repayment. Look, um, tomorrow I'll get you the books that you requested. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Get your stuff. I'll, I'll do, I'll do. Open it, me, Sylvia. How, how, how? Sister. How are you? Sister. Sylvia, how are you? What did happen? Hey? No, forget it, it's okay. I'll do can Nothing more. Wait, wait, make I see with the pinna. What did happen? Can I see my father? Is it possible? Chief. She's doing that, okay? Now you said it didn't do the barrier. What do you mean? Be lie, what a lie. We don't bury him. We don't deal with him thyself. Be lie? Die? Die when? You don't die. Be lie? I mean, I've been on the coming from I've been sitting out here for more than two hours two hours waiting for you worrying my head sick about you wondering what could have happened to you and who said you could watch over me because you're helping me does not give you the rights over me I come and go as I please do you understand so don't ask me where I have been for you don't have an iota of an idea what I have been through do you understand no
And just when I thought I had found my father, he's dead. He left me all alone to fend for myself. I didn't even have six months to spend with him. Am I supposed to? I'm all alone in this world now. It's. <laughs> oh God. to be here for you and I will. May not be an angel I may not be the best may not know the reason My head is on your But don't forget, who was your teacher? Hmm? Oh, you. I had the best teacher. That's definitely You had to pass. <laughs> That's so nice. I'll definitely gain admission to uni life. Definitely. Of course. Look at you. You're so happy. <laughs> you know. I'm happy. <sighs> now this calls for a celebration. Yeah. So when do we celebrate? I don't know. When it's convenient for you. Okay, so why don't we go out later tonight? No, no. I have a better idea. Why don't we just stay home and I'll prepare something really special mm. for you. Because you deserve it. I do. Much more. Okay, that makes me feel better. <laughs> okay, so if you do prepare dinner, why don't I go out and get some champagne? Mm, that'll be good. Okay. I'll be back in the gym for you, alright? <laughs> okay, I'll be right, right back. Give me two minutes. You should have called to say you were coming or that picked you from the airport. I wanted to surprise you. You know how much I love surprises? Oh, okay. You, when are you going to change? Maybe huh? when you're married. Really? Mm -hmm. oh, I missed you so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little more. Hi. 
Hi, Michael. <laughs> Welcome back. So, how, what have you been up to in my absence? Well, this and that. How was your flight? <laughs> Not the same without you. Mm. I couldn't wait to touch down just to be with you. <laughs> Tell me about it. Yeah. <laughs> Johnson. I thought I told you I wanted a Diet Coke and not a Coca-Cola. You know I take nothing but Diet Coke. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. I forgot. You forgot? Auntie, can you imagine? He forgot. Gosh. Please, I'm sorry. I'm going to change it immediately. Honey, <clears throat> when we're married, I'll employ my own steward. Because I can't stand inefficiency. Johnson... Just made a mistake. Johnson made a mistake. Please, you've only been here a few minutes and you're already making such a fuss. Me? Oh, oh, you, you, your steward annoys me. I complain and that translates to making a fuss. Children, what? children, please. Michael, I think Anne is right. Johnson can be inefficient at times and you know it. We have to change him, you know. Please, mom, for Christ's sake, Johnson is a good steward and you know that and complains over everything. I've warned her about this attitude of hers, but she won't listen. Please, look at it. She's only been here less than one hour. She's already throwing tantrum. Me? Throwing a tantrum? What do you mean? I'm not ready for this, okay? I'm certainly not in the mood for it. If you're feeling cranky this evening, I suggest that you go home. Auntie, Michael has absolutely no right to walk out on me. I would not stand and take it. I won't. And, and please, my dear, just come and sit down, okay? Come, come, come and tell me all about your trip. Please, forget my good for now. Be a good girl. It's okay. So, how was the trip to England? You see, but you can't tell me that. Men don't just do favors for nothing, especially when they're assigned women. I'm sure you're lying to me. Oh, God, I am not lying, okay, Bookie? He is not like that. Mm -hmm. For Christ's sake, he's been taking care of me for over a year now, and he's never for once asked anything of me. Really? Yes. I, uh, yeah, fine. It sounds like a fairy tale, but it's the truth. But he's really a fairy tale. Look at you. Beautiful in every sense of the word. Or are you trying to tell me that a so called Michael is a monk or a eunuch? He is nothing of the sort, okay? He's, he's only engaged to be married. Operator, this guy has been engaged to be married for over a year now, and yet he is not married. There's more to this than look very closely. There at. is nothing to look at, okay? We're friends. That's mm. all there is to it. Whatever. Change the topic. Well, tell me anything. Tell me. Yes, your party. Let me hear it. Mm, your son and I see you're really interested. Oh, well. The party is really going to be the bomb because all the top government officials are going to be there. See, you, you need to dump this your good girl out and join me in painting this town red. Yeah. See, we have to go out there and catch some real cool guys who will shower money on us. <laughs> Thanks for the offer, Bruno, but uh, I'll pass. That sort of life is not well, for me. Well, well, don't say I do it for you. Okay? See, you're my friend, and I'm supposed to be linking you up on some good stuff happening in town. Apparently, you're the greatest slacker I've ever come across. See, very soon, just very soon, I am going to be riding my car. I'll be one, I will not be found moving around with any legally best chick. So mm. find yourself a new friend. Okay, put my jeans and do the replacements. <laughs> You remember? Oh, how could I forget? Wow. Oh. oh, this is lovely. I wonder what's in it. Let me see the card. <laughs> this is beautiful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You never cease to surprise me, Michael. Never. Sometimes I wonder why you're so good to me. Maybe it's because I'm in love with you. Wait, I thought... Love does not fail. 
I don't know what to say. Then don't say anything. I just wanted to let you know how I felt. You know, I I couldn't hold it anymore. I thought I should just let you know what I was feeling. Um, <clears throat> well, I thought you'd never say it. Um, the truth is. I'm crazy about you too. I'm really sorry. If I could have prevented that, I would. I'm sorry. I love you, Sylvia. Nothing will ever change that. God, she's your fiance. She was. She was my fiance. I can't marry her anymore. What would the way I'm feeling about you now? Oh, God, no, no. This whole thing it is wrong, totally wrong. This I don't need this kind of complication in my life right now. I don't. But why did we have to fall in love? It's so unfair. This the whole thing is Life is not about fairness. So <sighs> real. The next few weeks are going to be tough. I need you to stand by me through it all. I will. But then again, you... You have to promise me. And you. I'll never let you down. Do you think you're going? Mom, if this is about what happened earlier today, I'm not prepared to discuss it. I'm sure Anne has filled you in on her actions. I don't have anything to say. Don't you dare walk out on me, Michael. Don't you dare. Michael Okechukwo Biora, I give back to you and you must listen to me. And listen to me real good. Now, I don't care what happened or what did not happen at the restaurant today. But I warn you. If you do anything to jeopardize the wedding on the 28th of next month, 
Hmm. Hell will be let loose. You've been postponing this wedding for one reason or the other. I've been hearing so many things about you going around town with this girl. I decided to ignore it. Because I felt it was one of those things. But Michael, you're going too far. Come 28th of March, you are going to wed Anne, and that is the end of the matter. Do I make myself clear? Mom, you are not in the boardroom. If you want Anne so badly in the family, I suggest that you marry her yourself, because I certainly would not marry this bitch. Michael, please. Michael! Michael! If that is the way you want it, then so be it. Everything will be okay. Okay. Okay, then I'll pick you up after lectures, huh? to we're just friends and nothing more we are friends mm -hmm. but uh, let's just say we moved on to another level i knew there was bullshit you were telling me about him being your benefactor and all that 
I've told the girl, men don't just do favors for nothing. There's always a price to pay. Honestly, we were just friends. Mm -hmm. For real, that's the truth. But somehow, somehow, things kind of changed and we fell in love. Love? Love? That word does not exist. Men are there to be used for what they can offer and nothing more. See, on the most serious note, girlfriend, you're my friend. I don't want you getting hot, okay? Whatever it is that Michael is doing with you, I assure you it is not going to last. Because people like Michael Obera do not marry people like you and I. His mother is Tiffany Obera, one of the most powerful women in Lagos. And his fiance, Anne Highcourt West, the ambassador's daughter. The first class speech, I must tell you. Tiffany and Anne's mother are best of friends. So I don't see Michael marry a Syrian nobody. So you know my advice to you, girl. Eat his money, dump him. Or please, leave your heart out of it, girlfriend. And how come you know so much about his family? Well, um, let's just say I move in their circle, but on a different level. <laughs> I once dated Anne's father. And girl, the man sure knows how to settle. Who do you think furnished my apartment for me? Jesus Christ, Bookie. Oh, please. God. Please. Oh, please, please, please. Don't even give me the Virgin Mary art. Mom will both know what you did last night. Hmm? <laughs> All right. Just come down from your fairy tale mansion and join me in the real world. There's a party happening in a, in a cola meridian, and I heard it's going to be crawling with top shirts in the society. So, are you keen, girlfriend? I bet you already know the answer to that question. Not on your life will I be found in such a place. Well, I guess that's your lust. But don't come crawling to me when your world comes crashing down. where we were sharing this apartment with her. When was the last time you saw her? I don't want to see her, Mom. Mom, when are you going to realize that it's over between Anne and I? So, Michael, you insist on cancelling this engagement and making me look like a fool before the Harcourt West. Mom, Mom, I'm your son. Would you rather I was unhappy so you can save face amongst your friends? Mom, don't forget it was your idea in the first place that I get engaged to Anne. I mean, I, as much as I did not like her. Michael, I can't remember you in resisting so hard when I introduced both of you. Well, uh, I mean, uh, well, she's a pretty girl, okay? And I said, why not? I can give it a go. But it's not working. Anne is rude. She's vain. She embarrasses me everywhere we go. Mom, there's no way I'm going to marry her. Okay, fine. I'm not going to push any further. Michael, you know you're my only son, and your happiness is my concern. So, when am I going to meet this girl? I mean, who is she? Her name is Sylvia. She's a first year student of the University of Lagos. Hmm. Really? Sounds interesting. So, why don't you invite her over for lunch? So that I'll get to meet this love of your life. Oh, I will, Mom. I will. I will. I will pay to Mom. Enjoy yourself, Mom. I love you, Mom.
man is here. Hello, my girl. You're welcome, my dear. You're welcome. Ah. What is happening here? Ah. I thought we were supposed to have lunch for three. Oh, well, I changed my mind and decided to call some good friends of the family. Since we're going to have an addition to the family, I thought it's wise to, like, invite. Maybe a friend here should tell you. Sylvia, is there something I should know about? Michael. Should you please take me home now? Not until we expose your sudden past for everyone to hear. Look at you. You think you're smacked. Ray did not succeed with Obina and his family. You think you can with an OBRS, huh? No way, baby. Michael, I owe no one here an explanation but you. Okay, but this is not the place nor the time for it. On the contrary, my dear, this is the perfect place. Indeed. You see, we're trying to liberate our brother here from the uh, trap you obviously set for him. Excuse me, can someone please tell me what is happening here? Oh, yes. That witch. That witch came into my house with this fantastic story about how she's my, my husband's daughter. And of so much. She even seduced my boy. And then turned the whole story around that, you know, this boy raped her. Girl. That is not how it happened, and you know it. Open and raped me. <laughs> raped me? Jesus. Polly, you know who I am. I don't need to rape her. I know that I can have any girl I want out there. Why would I want to rape this thing? Now, it just so happens that since you insist on painting this and ridiculous story of me waiting. Let me put everybody in the right picture of what really transpired. You see, this thing here seduced me and naturally I fell. I mean, she's a charmer, you know that. I'm sure you found out. So we started a steamy hot and fell under my parents' roof. And after a while, I did a rethink and I was like, why would I be dating someone who lesser than her help? So I, I stepped my foot down and I said, I don't want a part of this relationship anymore. She got crazy. And when she tried to seduce me again and I totally turned her down, this girl stabbed me. I'm telling you, mama will bear witness. You remember I was beaten like a pig that day. Now if it wasn't for God's kind mercies, believe me, I'll be standing here and proclaiming his goodness in front of all of you. Pally, this girl does not deserve you. Do you know who you are? Those comes up. I said just because she's good in bed, like you and I found. It's not reason. It's okay. I don't want to hear this anymore. Sylvia, let me take you home before I do something stupid. Okay. Michael, please allow it. Yo, Matt, that's safe now, okay? Michael, come on. Let's get back to this. Wait, what? Never said anything about it. Never mind again. In other words, I'm lying and Obina is telling the truth. What am I supposed to say when you confidently edited so many things from your story? Michael, I told you everything. But the rape, the rape, you never mentioned it. Jesus, Michael, do you know what it means to be raped? Do you? I was a virgin for crying out loud. How do you just open your mouth and talk about such a traumatic experience? How can you trust? Aren't you supposed to trust someone you say you love? So you don't trust me enough to tell me the whole story? Has it occurred to you that maybe I'd rather not talk about it? Maybe I'd rather just forget the whole nasty experience and just move on with my life. Has it? Oh, this doesn't add up, Sylvia. It doesn't add up. In other words, you're saying I'm lying. I don't know. I don't know what to think anymore. In that case, I don't think we have anything more to say. I guess you're right then. I can't stand this seat. I can't stand women who tell lies. And to think I almost gave up everything. Only to discover you're just another one of them. Out for nothing but something that you can grab, anything that you can grab. Love 
to you. Don't talk to me about love. You don't know the first thing about it. You're preaching love. Look at you. The first sign of a storm, you come. Michael, what? What happened to our promise? You promised me forever. Where is it? Where? Sylvia, if you're thinking of how to pay your school fees and the house rent, I promise you that I will pay your fees until you graduate. But you have to move out of this place. My friend comes in next month. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you I will assist you with the rent. You do last thing. First thing tomorrow morning, I'll be out of here and out of your life. Okay. I'll drop the kids with the game now. Look, Sylvia, it hasn't got into that. Michael.
Well, I guess we both know the answer to that question. Okay. When will you start? I mean, this whole... Don't even start. Go. I've told you, girl. Men are only there for one thing. To provide. So I don't see anything wrong with a man providing this car for me. Because God himself put women on this earth to receive from men. And that is exactly what I'm doing. Being a representative. Fun. Enough about myself. Oh, Michael, you need to see the wedding gown I got it. I'm getting it straight from Christian Dior in Milan. I saw it in Vogue and I said, This is a must have. It's so fabulous. Gosh, my friends will be green with envy when they see it. Michael, even your eyes will help out. By the way, don't you think we should fly to Milan together to get to get your suit straight from Manny? No, I don't need a Manny suit to get married, then I told you. Mom, tell him. I can't be wearing a Crescendio gown and he'll be wearing rags. Gosh, I, I, I just can't. Hello? Hey, okay, you know what, please. I am so sorry. I almost forgot. Okay, you know what? I'll catch... I'll be with you in five minutes, okay? Just hold up, please. Thank you. Bye. Mom, I gotta run. This is a friend of mine. She's taking me to a kitchen who makes fantastic cakes. She made a night entire cake for my friend and she's gonna make 20 for me. So, bye, catch ya. Bye. And it's worse than a parrot. Oh, that's a very nasty thing to say about your fiance. Michael, I don't understand you. You're not showing any enthusiasm about this wedding. You don't even care. You don't want to participate in the planning. Well, uh, they're best when they're planning weddings. Okay, so I'll let you and Anne take care of it. I'm sure everything will be planned to the tip. I trust you, Mom. Hmm? Trust you. In fact, uh, I should go get some sleep, really. Right. So. Because I hear the place is going to be crawling with ministers, House of Reps members. This could be your chance, girl! Maybe I need to beat it into you. Then I'm not the least bit interested. Oh, but don't come running to me when you've run out of your reserve and you need money for handout. I said, this girl, I am going out to hunt for who's got more money than sense. Here. John Obafemi? Yes, sir. Sheye Oruwa? Yes, sir. And uh, Uki Ajayi? Yeah. Hmm. Now, if you have not heard your name, please indicate. Okay. If you didn't hear your name, that shows one of two things. Either you have not registered for this course or you have not paid for my handout. So please, could you tell me what you are doing in the class? Hmm? Hmm? Even you, Cynthia Obi, I cannot see your name among those who have paid for my handout. I cannot see your name among those who have registered for the course. So, could you tell the class what you people are doing here in class? Hmm? Okay. It looks like I'm missing something here. Yeah. Looks like the federal government just introduced free education and I'm not aware. Yes, 
Yes, sir. You tell me. In your dreams only. Now get out of my class. Out of my class, all of you. When you're ready to come to school, you come and pay for my handouts and you pay for my course. Out of my class. Out! Get out of my class, you! Out! And those of you that are seated, that's better. I hope you're ready for my test. Yes. going to solve this problem. I've told you what to do, but you won't. Going to my house to seek for, for money is totally out of the question for Christ's sake, and you know it. I won't, I can't. Get me, girlfriend. Get me and find yourself a loaded sugar daddy. You know you have no other option. You know it. And I'm not going to pay your fees either. I can ask you to. You look so gorgeous. I can't believe the transformation. Okay. Isn't this cut a bit too short? No, 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 it's okay. I mean, look at those legs. Mm, the ambassadors will be going gaga when they see you tonight, believe me. I can't do this. No way. This is not for me, I'm sorry. Here. Your destiny is entirely in your head. If you want to succeed in life, you need to take the bull by the heart. I mean, nobody gives a shit about you if you haven't got money. And you know the name of the game? It is money. Money talks, bullshit happens. So if you want to go far in life, you need to use what you have to get what you want. But Buki, that is downright prostitution. You call it prostitution, but I call it survival. I mean, if you can sleep with A, then you have slept with B to Z. It makes no damn difference. But the only difference is for this one, you get paid. And you get paid real good. So baby girl, The choice is entirely yours. <sighs> okay. Let's do it. And fast, before I change my mind. I actually have all you need because the ambassador's driver will be here any minute. I'm fine. Where is your handbag? I don't need a handbag. I think you need it. What for? You're going to put the money in it. Thank you. I'll put it.
were you giving birth in there? I wasn't there for hours. I was trying to see if I could wash his filthy hands off me. Mm. Oh, God, I feel so disgusted, so dirty, so violated. Jesus, I don't believe I did what I did. I so, um, how much did they give you? How can you be talking about money at a time when I feel so oh. violated? God, you know, I almost threw up where that man touched me. Oh, girlfriend, like, girlfriend, you can cry oh, all you want right now. Because after this, you were smiling all the way to the back. Last time, just imagine this miracle. How can you say that? I was in love with Oh, me. please, please, girlfriend. Spare me this your love nonsense and get real. If you want to eat a frog, eat a fat and juicy one. Use what you have to get what you want. That's the rule of the game. So tell me, how much did he give you? I don't know. I was too disgusted to count. Hmm. Hmm. No, he said um, 50 grand or something. 50? Mm. Not bad at all. For a start, it's, it's not bad. Honey, you're about to enter the big league now. And that's why I made sure I gave you my guide, Ambassador. And as usual, my guide didn't disappoint me. Mm. So, baby girl, are you going to see him after tonight? <laughs> oh, sweetie, sweetie pie. Don, 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 don. Okay, just take a drop. I'll forget your soul.
Okay, drive now. And drive. Why are you crawling? You have a 10 o'clock lecture for Christ's sake. Relax, girlfriend. Even if you don't attend the class, record. After all, we settle the lecturers. Whether we settle lecturers or not, it doesn't matter. I want to attend classes. Mm -hmm. For Christ's sake, we're in our final year. We should be able to defend our degree now. <laughs> Efiko, Efiko. Please, leave that thing, Jerry, my dear. Even if we come out with third class, we're still going to work in top companies if we so desire. You know. You really need to stop thinking you can get favors with your buddy anytime, mm -hmm. any day. Look, beauty will fade, all right? Mm -hmm. But with brains, we can always put food on our table. We have both, girl. So please, let us just make the best use of it. So people don't take undue advantage of us. Do you understand? Mm. Anyway, for me, I intend to be a success, okay? I'm determined to reach the peak of my career with or without the help of men. Mm. I have supposed to settle with people and you need money and education to do that. Wow. It sounds like revenge, huh? So this is all about revenge. Sylvia, you are so sweet. How can I ever let you go? How dare you? What? How dare you call me Sylvia? Okay. Are you crazy? What the hell do you... Okay. Oh my God! Okay, I'm sorry, okay? Just, just calm down. Get your filthy hands off me, you fool. This is the last straw, Michael. It's over. I am sick and tired of this nonsense. Just as well then. What did you say? Look, I think we should call off the wedding. It's not going to work, I and mean, you know it. We both know it. Look, I don't love you, Anne. I never did. And are I you, never will. Are you are you out of your mind? Nobody dumps me. I do the dumping. Michael, if you think you're gonna get away with this, then you've got another thing coming. I don't believe you'll do this to me, Michael. You are a disgrace. Not only to me, but the whole family. How do you want people to look at me? Now think about the money. All the money we spent planning this wedding. Everything is not about money, Mom. Everything is not about money. Are you more concerned about what people will say than your son's happiness? Listen, Michael. You will be very happy with Anne. Why don't you just give it a try out? I tried, Mom. I tried. God knows I tried. For Anne's sake, for decency's sake, for everyone's sake, I tried. It just isn't working. Honestly, Mom, at this point, I don't care anymore. You can cut me off the wheel, you can throw me out into the streets, whatever. But I just won't go through with it. I'd rather live alone than live with the mistake of marrying that girl, because that is what it will be, a very big mistake. Then, Michael, I guess this calls for a more drastic measure. Because, Michael, I, Tiffany, Uzamaka Obiora will not have you drag my name in the mold. You will marry Anne. Yes, you will marry Anne. 
Even if it means me dragging you to the altar, I'll do that. You mean he just walked out without saying a word? Not a syllable, not a backward glance. God. So, so, how do you feel now? How do you expect me to feel? Buki, I just, I can't. I, I don't know, I don't. I don't know, Buki, I don't know. What if he tries to see you? See me? What for? <laughs> no mm -hmm. way. Uh -uh. Last thing I want to do right now is see Michael. Because I can't face him. Shit. I confuse myself. I don't even know what to say. <sighs> Who else? What? What is he doing here? Yeah. Jesus. I've not been taking his calls. I've been trying to avoid him. Now you let him into the house. Why? Girl, sooner or later you have to face him. So it might Jesus. as well be now. I'm tired of dodging him myself. So go out there and see him so I can have my peace of mind, okay? <laughs> So what can I help you with? Um, can we go somewhere more convenient so we can chat? And what makes you think I'm interested in having a chat with you? Hmm? The fact that I have refused to take your calls or see you should have told you something by now. Michael, I am not interested in you. We'll never be. Do you understand? So please get out. Sylvia, do not try to use hostility to cover the issue. What are you doing to yourself? Uh -uh. I don't owe you or anyone else an explanation about my life. Do you understand? I have it. Damn it, Sylvia! Damn it! How can you do this to yourself? How can you stoop so low as to sell in your body? For Christ's sake, you could have come to me. Come to you? <laughs> I'd rather die than come crawling to you for handouts. Didn't you say I was only after your gold and silver? Eh? Michael, look at you. You abandoned me. When I needed you the most. And now you come here to preach. What are you preaching? What did you think? Oh, that, 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 that I wouldn't survive without you? No. Sorry to disappoint you, sweetheart. I have survived. Mm -hmm. How does not count? What matters is I survived. And I will continue to survive. In other words, I will continue to sleep with every governor, every minister, and anybody else who has money to spend. Do you understand? And let me tell you something, sweetheart. If your father had the cash to spend, I would sleep with him.
Yeah, my dear, you know how it is now. I'm so tired. Mm. Oh, my father's two years memorial service. Oh. Anyways, enough about me. So how are you doing, girl? Hmm. Buki, this is your Igbo husband wants to spoil you, Sha. <laughs> so you don't want to go back to Nigeria again? It's not so. Yeah, I guess I'll see you in the summer. Um, issue that, um, that's my stepsister told you about. Why don't you come and meet, okay? Okay. Uh, okay. I'll call you back to my sister tonight, okay? Alright, take care. Sylvia. How do you do? Um, oh, no, I didn't get a chance to introduce you to my wife. You know, everybody was crying on the memorial service and all that. Joy, meet my stepsister, Sylvia. Sylvia, Joy, my wife. Hello. Hi. Well, um, don't mind inquiring. And what could there be to discuss with my attorney? Business. This is purely business. I'm believing you're finding this property. Oh. Mm. Okay. Mm. If you say it's business, then um, I give you my business card. Call me and book an appointment. Sure. I will. I'll call you. Oh, nice. Nice. What you're asking for is a 30 million naira loan to resuscitate the yes. company. Literally. You see, um, my board of directors came together and decided that um, Sylvia Investment was the best company to approach as regards this. And when I carried out a little investment, I found out um, investigations, rather, I found out that um, your company, um, that you were sitting on top of it. So I, I was skeptical at first to approach you on to the fact that our last relationship wasn't exactly palatable. But um, on the other hand, I know your company specializes in mergers and um, buying up other small businesses. So I said, what the hell? After all, blood is thicker than water, like they always say. Hmm. Very convenient for you to realize that. As far as I'm concerned, we are not related. If you have a business proposal, let's get on with it and cut the rest of the bullshit out. You know, they told me you were ruthless. I see they were not lying. As you wish. Um, I know that if I um, might have offended you in the past, I'm deeply sorry. But it would be wrong for you to hold what happened between us against me. If I could change, turn back the Okay, now, okay, please. I'd rather we left the past where it is and move on with the present, okay? Now for a 30 million naira loan, we'll need your collateral, which includes landed property, investments, shares in respectable companies, and that's it. So are you game? I won't be here if I wasn't. I know with 30 million I can literally change back the um, finance of my company in no time. And then I'll be able to repossess whatever collateral and um, investment I put down to effect this deal. Good. We have a deal. Are you Honey, I don't joke with business. Okay? I will have the legal department drop the papers. But... I want the original papers of the property, including the house you live in. 
My house? Are you out of your mind? Honey, 30 million naira is no chicken fee. So are you still game? possess my um my um, properties in no time so um as you guys um drawing up um the partnership contract um i would prefer we discuss that in a lighter atmosphere shall we say um over dinner i don't think there's anything more to discuss if you keep your own side of the bag and then it's a sealed deal but if you're asking me out to dinner then my answer is yes. So let's see, um, would 8 o'clock be in order? Splendid. Okay. So, so. Have a nice day. You too, my dear. It was good to see you again. Mm -hmm. I will see you again. Such as that. So hey, um, are you sure you don't want me to come in? Just you know, if they really want me. Not tonight. senses. Isn't it bad enough that you have gone and collected a huge loan from her? Now you say you want to dump your wife and marry her. Are you a lunatic? Look mom, I've been having problems with Joy for a very long time now. Her marriage wasn't working. And it was just a matter of time before things pack up for good. Hey, Obina, you're a complete disgrace. I say a complete disgrace. You have run down all the companies, turned us into huge debts, embarrassing me all over the place. Now you say you want to leave your wife and marry who? Who? <laughs> Obina, look, I know what you want to do. I know that thing you want to do. And let me tell you what, it's Carlos. It's, it's Carlos. You know very well that you do not plan to pay back that loan. And your father, by marrying her, She'll be more lenient. That's a very wicked thing to say, Mom. I love Sylvia very, very much. And this has absolutely nothing to do with the loan I collected from her, okay? Yeah. Obina. Obina! You will not leave your wife. This is the last time we mention this topic. As far as I'm concerned, this conversation will never took place. Do you 
expect you to accept all what you're saying, just like that. Joy, you have no choice. I don't expect us to patch things up. It's been over between us a long time and you know it. Don't make me feel guilty about this. He ought to be guilty. Because you know I don't deserve this. Oh, I can't live without you. I can't. But you have nothing to offer me. Absolutely nothing. We've been married for three years now and can't even give me one child. Not one. I deserve better than this. We we'll quarrel every day, we we'll fight every day. I don't want to live like this anymore. He wants to leave me for that prostitute, right? The one everyone in Lagos has passed through. Have you no shame? So it is second hand products that you prefer, huh? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> Let me tell you something. I don't want you in this house when I get back, you understand? I don't care what mother thinks. Contact your lawyers, I'm sending your divorce papers to you. I want you out! <laughs> You see over here. I mean, who the hell do you think you are? What kind of game are you playing? I don't see how my life is any business of yours, Michael. When will you get it into your head that it's over and done with us? When? You had your chance. You blew it. And now it's someone else's turn. <laughs> what? You have a problem with that? I have a problem with it because I still love you. I know you do too. Look, you're just trying to get back at me for something that was not my fault. Yes, I agreed I was wrong. I was stupid. I said I was sorry. Is there no place in your heart for forgiveness? I mean, look at me. After all you did, after you, all you have done, I still forgive you. I wanted you back, waiting patiently all these years, only for you to go and pull a stupid stunt like that with Obina. That was the same guy who raped you. What sort of character are you? The sort you should avoid. Oh, so now you believe he raped me. Why? Why did you change your mind? Look, Michael, um, a lot of water has passed under the bridge. But what do you want from a fallen woman like me anyway? Hmm? I loved you, you know. I gave you my heart. And what did you do with it? Shattered it. Broke it into pieces. And right now, there's no more heart left. It's empty in here. And I don't care whom I trample on as long as I get what I want. Do you understand? So, Michael Obira, if... You'll be doing me a whole lot of favor if you leave me the hell alone. But there's no more us. I'm sorry for you, Sylvia. 
whatever it is you're looking for in life, I hope you find it. Good luck. Bye. I warned you about this business, didn't I? I knew this business was going to flop. 30 million naira down the drain. How are you going to pay back this loan? Look, mom, chill. Everything's under control. Why do you like overreacting? Overreact? 30 million naira down the hooks. And you say there's no big deal. Do you realize we have not only lost landed properties, but we have also lost this house that we are in? Do you realize we don't have anything? We've lost everything! We don't have anything! Look, Mom, I, I told you relax. There's no big deal. What's the problem for Christ's sakes? Losing 30 million naira is not the end of the world. I have everything worked out. Look, Sylvia is going to be my wife. And that means everything that has is legally mine too. So it's of no consequence if I'm in possession of the house or she is. Everything is already worked out. Don't worry. No, no. I never knew how stupid you were until now. Sylvia's not a fool. That girl is out for revenge. And that witch has chosen to work with you. Because she knows that you are stupid enough to fall into her trap. Look, Mom, I'm tired of all this. What is all this? All you do is rave and rant about everything. There's nothing I do that's good enough for you. You rant about everybody and everything. Look, thank God I found someone like Silver that's ready to accept me for the man I am. Now, if you want to sit here and rant and rave all day, fine. Real my dream. You are wide awake, yeah? So it's definitely not a dream. Did you really think I'd marry you? If you believe that, then apparently you're more stupid than I thought. I knew you would squander that 30 million naira and never pay back, thinking you could use your charm to get me. <laughs> Well, sorry, darling. I'm not as stupid as you are. Thirty million naira is it's not too much to lose, as long as I get my father's lands and property back. Barney, you know the sweetest part of this victory is reducing you to nothing. I give you and your mother 24 hours to clear from my father's property. The bailiffs will arrive tomorrow. And if by then you are not packed and gone, I won't be held responsible for what happens to you. Good day. You tell me, go, you have to ruin my life? Stop fucking up everything I want for! Good day! You fucking bitch! You bitch! I'll kill you! You die! I'll kill you! You said I'm going to die for you! Die! I'm going to kill you! You said die! You get it? I'll make sure you die! I'm going to kill you! What are you waiting for? Die, you bitch! Come on, die! Get your ass off! Get your ass off! Let me kill the bitch! Let me kill her! Get out of here! Bitch! Bitch! I'm fine. <laughs> Get out! 
What do you want to see him for? Haven't you done enough damage? I, um, I'll, I'll be on my way. Thank you, ma'am. of a lifetime, a fulfillment of my desire, a promise gone forever and ever and ever and ever. How did you get up here? And what do you want? Johnson, let me in. Madam, please, I, I need to see Michael. What do you want to see him for? Haven't you done enough damage? Look, I'm sorry for everything. I really am. But I really need to talk to Michael, please. He's not in. I don't know where my son is. No thanks to you. My son has taken to drinking. He doesn't come home anymore. No! Not a